Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be covering what I think roughly 150 million Americans should be spending their stimulus check on. In another massive stimulus package, the president and the rest of the government has passed once again our beloved stimulus checks. This time around they're worth $1400. At this point, it seems like the US Treasury is just an unlimited money factory, which I'm not a huge fan of, but that is not the topic of today's video. The topic is, what should you be spending it on? As it's estimated that roughly 20% of people are spending their stimulus check on investments. So today I'm going to give you my two suggestions on what I think could be some great investments with those beloved stimulus checks. The first stock that I think could be a great pick with this extra money is SoFi. Now what exactly is SoFi? It is a all-purpose banking app for your mobile phone. Not only is it just a banking app, it also includes your investments, your loans, your credit score, SoFi rewards, all of this all packaged into one easy to use and one very good looking app. Now, many people, as you know, would have multiple different accounts when it comes to their banking, investment, loans, all of that. But it's said that around 80% of consumers say that this is due to the fact that there are inadequate one-stop shops. And so that is exactly what SoFi is trying to provide. Now, if you want to learn more about this company, I'm not going to go into too deep of a dive today. But I'll put a link in the top right corner of your screen right now to a video that I did on the company right when it came out, but other than that, let's get into the financials. Two of the biggest categories when it comes to financials in their net revenue, as well as their EBI TDA, are both headed in the right direction. Let's start out with their net revenue. Last year, they did roughly $620 million. This year, we're looking at right around a billion. And by 2025, we're looking at $3.7 billion. You can see that the year over year growth is consistently above 30%. And in the short term, we're talking more about 50%. Now let's go ahead and look at that EBI TDA, which is earnings before taxes and a few other things. You can see that they've actually been in the negative for these last couple of years, but 2021 is expected to be their first positive year. So hooray for that. And when you head all the way over to 2025, we're talking about roughly a billion dollars in earnings. Now, obviously, all of that revenue is going to be coming from their increase in members. So let's go ahead and talk about that. You can see that consistently starting in 2019 and going all the way up to today, they've been having year over year growth for different quarters of right around 50% but this has been accelerating even more in late 2020. And in 2021, they're expected to reach 3 million members, which is a huge milestone and would represent 75% year over year growth. Another thing that I want to focus on is the growth of their multi product members. Now, what exactly is a multi product member? This represents any member who has been using more than just one of SoFi's many different products that they have on their app. And this growth has been even more rapid than just their general member growth. You can see that they have 95% year over year growth for this. And in 2021, they expect roughly 775,000 members to be using at least two of their products on the app. Now, why could this be such a great time to invest in this company? We've already seen how much their members as well as their revenue is going to be growing and their stock price is not representing that. You can see that they've had a recent fall in the market coming from around the $25 range and they're currently sitting at right around $20. Now this was just due to that general market pullback, but that still provides us with a great opportunity to buy in now. And the second suggestion that I have for what you could potentially invest your stimulus check in is going to be not a stock, but it's going to be an asset. And that is going to be Bitcoin. 
Now, don't get me wrong. I am not a massive Bitcoin bull. I would consider myself to be cautiously optimistic about Bitcoin. I think it could have a great future, but there's also a few things that are very concerning to me. But currently, I'm especially optimistic because of the fact that these stimulus checks are coming out. Now, there's a few main reasons why I'm particularly optimistic because of the stimulus checks. Number one is going to be the fact that there's $1,400 and a lot of the people who are getting these stimulus checks are millennials. Now, what do millennials love? They love Bitcoin. The second main reason why I'm bullish on this because of the stimulus checks is what I mentioned at the beginning of this video, and that's going to be inflation. The more money that the U.S. prints, the less that money becomes valued at, and the more valuable of an asset Bitcoin is going to be, in the same way that gold is also somewhat of a hedge against inflation. Now, this data is from the United Kingdom, but it still proves my point. You can see that research has found that cryptocurrencies are around three times more popular as a long-term asset among millennials compared to other generations, and also 20% of millennials in the United Kingdom have invested in some type of cryptocurrency. Who else has been getting involved in this cryptomania? Well, there is a ton of very popular celebrities with a lot of followers that have endorsed Bitcoin. Number one and number two on this list are who I consider to be the most influential. And number one you can see is Elon Musk. He has been all over the Bitcoin scene. He has hashtag Bitcoin in his Twitter bio. He has the little red eye profile picture, which is also part of the Bitcoin movement. He bought Bitcoin for Tesla, which they have made a ton of money off of, and he is constantly tweeting about this thing. Now, this article provides a great point that I want to emphasize. You can see that Elon Musk has also publicized the meme coin of Dogecoin, and that has led to a huge spike in this coin. Now, while you can try to ride the hype on Dogecoin and hope that you're not buying at the top, I would never ever suggest investing in any sort of meme coin like Dogecoin. If you don't know about it, there's an unlimited supply, which virtually makes it worthless. It's called a meme coin for a reason. So if you're gonna invest in cryptocurrency, make sure you're staying with the big players like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and a few others. And number two on the list is Jack Dorsey, CEO of Square and Twitter, another huge Bitcoin lover who has been in the game all the way since 2017. He spends, quote, thousands of dollars each week to buy Bitcoin. And Square has also purchased Bitcoin in October of 2020. Whether you think it should be this way or not, these two men have a huge influence on what other investors invest in. So the more they pump this Bitcoin, the more it's likely going to go up. This article is a little bit old, but still very relevant. And it covers the fact that JP Morgan put a long-term price target on Bitcoin of $146,000 and said that it will compete with gold for that alternative currency role. You can also look at a ton of other high-class investors or institutions like Chamath, he put a $1 million price target by 2037. You got Jeremy Liu, who put a $500,000 price target by 2030. You got a Citibank analyst, put it at $318,000 by 2021. I'm not so sure about that one. I don't think that's going to be right. But there is a ton of these high-class investors and high-class investing organizations who are very bullish on Bitcoin. Now, it's very hard to track institutional buying for Bitcoin because they're not required to show you that they're buying this Bitcoin. But the easiest way to look at this would be to look at whale wallets. And what a whale wallet is, is any person or organization that holds a thousand Bitcoin or more. So basically, these are going to be institutions because that thousand Bitcoin is going to be worth a lot more money than any average individual could have. Now this graph shows Bitcoin flowing from the general exchange into these whale wallets 
every single week. And you can see that from January of 2020, it has been consistently growing and has now reached record highs. When you factor in just how bullish retail investors are when it comes to Bitcoin and combine this with these huge institutions and celebrities that are buying Bitcoin, I think we could have a bright future in store, especially for short term. I hope you did go on to enjoy today's video and if you learned something new, make sure you leave a like down below to show your appreciation and subscribe so you don't miss any more videos. But other than that, I'll see you in the next one.